is an election year and it promises to be a busy one. Candidate filing closed this week for cities that have a primary and that means we're getting our first look at what's on the ballot. In Robbinsdale, there could be as many as three new faces on the city council. Let's begin with the crowded field for mayor. Mayor Regan Murphy is not running for re-election and there are eight candidates who would like to take his place. The list include three current city council members and one woman. On the ballot for the August 11th primary will be Pat Backen, Bill Blonigan, Joseph Courtney, Wally Langfellow, David Mathias, Steve Person, Kate Richardson, and George Selman. In Ward 1, Bill Blonigan has held the seat since 1981 and he's running for mayor. On the ballot to take his Ward 1 seat is Charles Austinson, Tyler Klein, and Megan Leckler. There will be a new face representing Ward 2, which has been held by Dan Rogan since 2005. Voters will narrow down the field of six in the primary. On the ballot is Rachel Benson, Vincent John Ella, Jason Greenberg, Isaac Jaharis, Chad May, and Sheila Rena Webb. Voters will get to narrow down those fields in the primary again. That's on August 11th. You can keep up with the latest in local vote 2020 on our website, ccxmedia.org. The governor of Minnesota called up thousands of National Guard troops to help quell the unrest in Minneapolis and St. Paul. Some of those guardsmen had to stay away from home longer than anticipated, and that's when the Palmer Lake VFW in Brooklyn Park stepped in to help. They had people that planned to be there a day and now are there a lot longer. They don't even have simple things like pillows. So I went to Target and bought out all the pillows they had. They were very helpful in the process loaded up my dad's truck with 80 pillows and delivered them to the soldiers that are very appreciative. Hansen says you could see the joy in soldiers' faces when they dropped off the pillows at the Arden Hills Armory. The Palmer Lake VFW is in Brooklyn Park and it's also a drop-off point for donating items like sunscreen, Gatorade, or snacks to National Guard troops. But they ask that you call before you show up. There's more information on the Palmer Lake VFW Facebook page, and we've linked that page to our website, ccxmedia.org. Hi, I'm Glenn Cleveland in Golden Valley, and next year at around this time, a major resurfacing project will take place here on Highway 55. But part of that project will involve the construction of a brand new bike and pedestrian trail. Now, the city wants Golden Valley residents to provide their input on that trail project. The Minnesota Department of Transportation will handle the work of the resurfacing project on Highway 55. That work will take place between General Mills Boulevard and Highway 100. In addition to resurfacing, that project will also include safety improvements such as expanding the size of the median islands and enhancing accessibility at intersections. But on the south side of Highway 55 between Winnetka and Glenwood Avenues, the city is making plans for a 10-foot wide trail on MnDOT's existing right-of-way that will have room for both bicycles and pedestrians. To make room for this trail, crews will have to remove some trees and do grading work on the ditch adjacent to the highway. The estimated construction cost is between $250,000 to $300,000 but MnDOT has budgeted $300,000 to contribute to construction. After it's complete, the city will own, operate, and maintain the trail. The final design should be completed later this summer. Construction will begin sometime next spring and take about eight weeks to complete. Anyone with questions or comments is welcome to weigh in. For a link on how to do that, you can go to our website at ccxmedia.org. Reporting in Golden Valley, Delaney Cleveland, CCX News. It's a bittersweet day for Wyzetta High School students as they say goodbye to their teachers and friends for the school year. Here's what some of them have to say. When we were told that we couldn't come back, we didn't know that our last day of high school was going to be our last day. So it was a little, we kind of want closure and it's super sad that our days of, at Wyzetta are done, but hopefully graduation can give us that closure that we are looking for. My favorite memory, I'm a part of a dance team at Wyzetta, so I've just had so many memories with that and going to the state tournament and all of that has been super fun and just dancing with my friends is always so much fun. For us being able to distribute the yearbooks here, it's been a lot of fun to be able to see all the kids and see and say hi to them and be excited to just wish them well for the summer. It's kind of a crazy year. I don't know, I wasn't really expecting this at all, but I don't know, I feel like everyone's doing a pretty good job coping with the situation, so yeah. And today's the last day of school? 
school? How yep. are you feeling? Um, doesn't feel like a typical last day of school, but still some sort of stress reliever. Returning students will be back in session September 8th. Reporting in Plymouth, Pafoyang, CCX News. We want to honor the class of 2020. We have seen that all around our community. We want to do something that they will remember. Class 2020, baby! Thank you, thank you. In this time, they will remember a lot, as we all know. What we want to do as parents of grads is to give them something special to honor them at their school. Here at Armstrong, Woo! we wanted to have a, a memorable, traditional grad ceremony. That wasn't the case. That just couldn't happen this year. As we all know that, that we started thinking that way back in the spring, we were hoping we could do that. It, it ended up that we can't. So we wanted to give them a chance to see each other, to see the school and to see their, the staff on their way in an honoring way. Congrats 2020. People will find their community. That's what we found as parents to get this going, to get this off the ground. Kids are even way better than us. They're resilient, they're creative, they are strong. They are gonna take over this world and put a lot to right. We, we have a lot to, for them to tackle, don't we? The seniors can do it, right? <laughs> <laughs>